How y'all doing? Larry here and welcome to Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Got a couple of things to talk about. So let's get started, okay? Uh, a while back, I picked up a ballpoint pen from A.B. Rustic Relics. And you can find them on eBay as simply A.B. Rustic Relics, or they are on Facebook or Twitter or Pinterest or uh, even Instagram. So, here is the pen that I want to show you. Ballpoint pen. And I guess I'll do it any which way but loose. Maybe you can see that real good. I want you to uh, focus on the writing. And I'm not sure if it's going to go one way or the other. Now the language, I already had it uh, checked out. Uh, it's done in two languages, one in Hebrew and one in Arabic. Now when I saw this on Brad's site, I went straight for the pen. Well, first of all, it's a Parker, okay, which I like the Parker line of pens. Second of all, it's the writing that I wanted to get examine and have it translated because this makes it a pretty awesome ballpoint pen. Uh, one can think and say what they want about ballpoints. I get it. Been there, done that. But Parker has a just a, a great line of fountain pens. And this uh, writing on it makes it even greater. It's not often I see this type of writing on pens. So that's why I had to get it from uh, Rustic Relic Store. So, the translation in the Hebrew part says H-H Haro, H-A-R-O, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Haro? Haro, yes. Yeah. Engineering Limited. Now, the bottom part, the Arabic part, that's totally something else. It says, with wishes... For success. So, I went a step further to try to get more history about this writing, where it took place, and what was the reason for it. A friend of mine uh, checked with uh, someone he knew in Israel uh, that did the translating for him. Uh, which he also can uh, read uh, Hebrew, but he was asking him about this pen, and the fellow was saying probably the Parker made this line of pens for the Jewish community there, with to keep the also the to give to the Arabics as well. So it was like a joint kind of thing. So here's a Jewish uh, person in Israel, and they're handing their fellow brother uh, the Arab, giving him a pen, and say, "Wish wishes for success. So that's the best I can get from it. So I thought I'd go with it, but there you are. Is that a good close-up of this? close as you can get. And there you have it. Okay, so now let's move on to a, another topic I kept talking about when I made a video. I was going to announce my favorite workhorse pin on the low inside. Now, is this the best pin I have? No. But it's one of my favorites. Why do I call it the workhorse pin? Well, first of all, let's just go straight to the nib. Forget everything else. And let's look at the pin. Let's just go straight to the nib. 
the nib is awesome. It's smooth, it's wet, it delivers like I want my nibs to write. No skipping, no bad starts, it's always on the money. To me, that's a not a good nib, but a great nib. Second, I do like the shape of the nib. It's different. Is it a perfect pin bow? No, it's not. You know, because right here when you go up the grip, they just, that little step down, you know, some people won't like it. It could be annoying. But to me, it doesn't bother me. Uh, it uses uh, the Parker cartridge or a converter for Parkridge. I'm sorry, for Parker. And uh, another reason why it's a workhorse pen, besides writing well, besides it's just enjoyable to write with, if you lose this pen, well, it's not going to be a major loss. I think you can, you can get them under... 20 bucks. I forgot what they cost. Uh, and uh, I was given to this one by Rustic Relics, AB Rustic Relics. I have uh, another one I found. It's a red one. Now, I've been using this pen religiously going for almost two months now. I've inked it up and inked it up again. I just like the pen that much. I hope I don't ever lose it. Now, that's not saying I may have a forget spell and misplace it, but I'll hunt that sucker down till I find it. But uh, one of my favorite pens, yes, it is a great workhorse pen. No, it doesn't have a, all the bells and whistles. No, it doesn't have a gun nib. No, it doesn't have a, a piston or a plunger. Uh, not a None of all those cool things that people like. But it is a Parker fountain pen. That's what I like about it. I love the arrow. I love the look. I love the feel. I love the nib. To me, that makes this my workhorse pen. Yeah, some people freak out. Well, God, I mean, that's better than the Lamy 2000 with the gold nib. I'm talking in lower range pins. I'm not talking about upper range pins. Stay with me here. Focus. Great pin for the buck. I love it. You know, I've said this over and over again. Many times if I say it, and I will continue to say it as long as I can breathe. We all have different likes. Dislikes. We all have our own opinions, and this is mine. For me, I want to give credit where I think it's due, and this sweetie gets it. I'm going to get comments, well, is it better than the Pilot Metropolitan? Or I'll hear some folks saying, you know, I don't like that pen for whatever reason, or the Pilot Metropolitan is better than this pen. Well, that's all cool. But this is what my workhorse on the low end side is. Pretty nice pen. Yeah, I like it. So I'll just give a little quick writing test, okay? And then we're done. All right, here we go. The Lamy Victor. <laughs> Lamy Parker. Yeah. <laughs> I got Lamy on the brain. Medium nib. And we'll just do a little wet test here. I'm using the Franklin Kristoff notepad. Nice paper, great flow. 
and it delivers just the way I like it to. And there you have it. The Parker Vector. By the way, if you're interested in any Parker Vectors, fountain pens or ballpoints, gels, or whatever, you want to check out the AB Rustic Relics. They got all kinds of toys going on there in the attic. Check them out. Be cool. Like your school, my friend. Well, time for me to split and work on something else. Catch you on the back side. Can you dig it? I knew you could. Until next time, my brother. It's only rock and roll, and it's good, and God bless. And remember, don't text and drive. Parker rocks. Peace out.